Even the most modest yachts seem impressive, but what about the billion dollar behemoths? From mansions at sea to floating palaces, let's explore the true cost of buying a super yacht. Why are super yachts so expensive? Super yachts are the absolute pinnacle of indulgence for the ultra wealthy. No one really needs a super yacht, which is typically defined as a luxury boat that's 80 feet or longer. There are private jets for travel and smaller boats to cruise the ocean in style. Yet yacht sales bring in billions each year. From quarter one of 2020 to quarter three of 2021, the US spent over $2.2 billion on yachts over 98 feet long, while those in the Mediterranean spent over $3.5 billion. But what exactly makes a super yacht so expensive? The rich aren't investing in practicality, they're investing in status, privacy, and entertainment. What stands out most about owning a yacht is its sheer size and abundance of luxury amenities, like master suites, hot tubs, state-of-the-art gyms, saunas, and pools. Yachts are assembled by master craftsmen in renowned shipyards. They're decked out with technology and engineering that allow them to cruise the waters at impressive speeds despite their size. Many yacht owners also request luxurious, rare, and exotic materials for the construction of their boats. A bigger yacht with more luxuries also means more crew, more maintenance, and more money. Every year, yacht owners spend between 10 to 20% of their boat's purchase price on operation and maintenance. That's one to two million dollars a year for a $10 million super yacht. Fuel can cost about $400,000 a year, including additional fuel for onboard toys like jet skis. And annual dockage fees can be $350,000 or more. Don't forget to throw in $240,000 a year for insurance and potentially millions to pay your crew, including cooks, wait staff, and the boat's captain, who can make over $180,000 per year on a large yacht. Despite such high prices, 10% of yacht purchases are immediately paid in full. They're typically owned for three years before being sold and traded for something new. There are plenty of upgrades available when trading a fancy 100-foot vessel for, let's say, a 400-foot yacht with its own nightclub. So let's check out what money can really buy when it comes to super yachts. 100-foot super yachts Yachts of around 100 feet in length are the starter super yacht for many of the world's richest people. New yachts of this size often cost about $1 million per 3.3 feet in length. That's an average of $30 million to buy a brand new 100-foot vessel. This is the Virtus 44, a 144-foot yacht that costs about $20 million. The boat was designed by VYD Studio with the idea of an open interior in mind. Wide windows offer incredible ocean views from every angle, while guests on the yacht can also enjoy a beach club, bar area, plenty of spots to sunbathe, and a small swimming pool. The yacht has room for 10 guests to stay comfortably in five luxurious cabins, as well as room for eight crew members in four staff cabins. The Virtus 44 can provide luxury at sea while traveling at a respectable top speed of 15 knots, perfect for a relaxing multi-million dollar vacation. Older yachts of this size can be bought for a slightly more reasonable price while still offering insane amounts of luxury. This yacht is called Bliss. It's 144 feet long and was first launched back in 2007. Now it's worth about $15 million. Built by Heeson Yachts, it could win a race against the Virtus thanks to a max speed of 26 knots and can similarly host 12 guests and a crew of 9. While the interior isn't as modern as the newly built yachts, it offers plenty of space with outdoor dining on the deck a huge entertainment room, and a spacious owner's cabin. Staffing yachts of this size can cost over $32,000 a month, plus another $7,000 or so for day workers who come aboard to tend to the guests every need. Throw in $50,000 or so a month for fuel and dockage, 
and vacationing on even a small super yacht is sure to rack up a huge bill. 200 foot mega yachts. While these 100 foot vessels are nothing to scoff at, there's plenty more luxury to be found aboard a 200 foot yacht. Yachts longer than 200 feet are typically built to individual specifications and are often distinguished from smaller super yachts by being called mega yachts. They usually have four decks above the waterline, as well as one or two below. In addition, they often have helipads and VIP suites that make the spacious owner's cabin on a 100-foot yacht look like a child's bedroom. Just take a look at Steven Spielberg's former yacht, the $150 million Seven Seas, a 282-foot vessel built by Ocean Co. with a top speed of 20 knots. First delivered in 2010, it was recently renamed the Man of Steel, which is fitting for this behemoth of a boat. It's packed with premium features, including a range of toys in the tender garage and a convenient helipad. It also has its own cinema, an owner's suite on a private deck with a jacuzzi, multiple health and wellness facilities, and a large swimming pool on deck. This mega yacht sleeps up to 20 guests across nine staterooms and carries a crew of 28 that can tend to their every need. A 200-foot mega yacht such as this one is a pretty popular choice for wealthy families who can find every available entertainment option in their mansion at sea. Take the Calypso yacht as another example. Formerly known as the Solimar, the yacht was sold for $31 million and given almost $17 million worth of upgrades. With a $340,000 weekly charter price, this stunning ship has everything from a hot tub on deck to an inflatable water slide. There's also a water deck where the family can gather for some fun ocean activities like snorkeling. Other rooms that can be found on the yacht include a library, a salon, spa facilities, a formal dining room, and three different entertainment decks. That's plenty of space for the ship's 12 guests to enjoy, and they're taken care of by a crew of 15. 300-foot Giga Yachts Those mega yachts are definitely luxurious enough to spend months lounging at sea. But even they don't hold a candle to the most expensive yachts that are over 300 feet long. Sometimes they're known as Giga Yachts because they're the closest we have to the 1,000 foot long luxury yachts of the future. At 300 feet and longer, there are plenty of celeb worthy vessels to enjoy, like the Lana that Beyonce and Jay Z chartered at a cost of $2 million per week. According to Forbes, yachts as long as this one with a speed of 25 knots and 31 crew members cost around $275 million. But there are bigger yachts worth much more than that. This is the remarkable 533-foot Eclipse, commissioned by Russian billionaire Roman Abramovich for between $500 and $600 million. The yacht's even been rumored to cost over $1.5 billion, but Forbes insists that's not true. The Eclipse was once the biggest super motor yacht in the world and the most expensive on the market, with a $2.3 million weekly charter price. It features jet skis, a submarine, two pools, a cinema, two helipads, a floating beach club, you name it. One of those pools can even be converted into a dance floor. This yacht was known as the world's most impressive until an even pricier floating palace came along. Move over Eclipse because the Azam is here. Owned by Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayyan of the UAE and built at a cost of $605 million by Lursen Yachts Germany, the 590-foot vessel is estimated to cost $60 million each year in upkeep. Its luxurious features include two swimming pools, a cinema, and a disco. Oh, and we can't forget two helipads and a missile defense system. While no one is currently spending $1 billion on a single yacht, these giga yachts are certainly costing yacht lovers close to $1 billion when you consider the many costs of owning and running a palace on water. But when you're that wealthy, 
Owning a super yacht is just another cherry on top of an already lavish life. If you had a super yacht, which feature or amenity would you enjoy most? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.